Today's project is to marry this AeroPress, not necessarily this one, because this is not the AeroPress, this is the bag. This is what an AeroPress looks like. It has a large diameter output. AeroPress claims to make, be able to make an espresso. I've had trouble trying to make an espresso, part of it is my cheap coffee, into an espresso cup. That doesn't work like that because this is too large. I put a lot of thought into this. But I've come up with a solution. We'll see if it works today. First, what we needed, a piece of pipe that we could put over the cup. Unfortunately, this pipe, you have a choice. You can either have it fit the AeroPress or fit the cup. I would prefer to have it fit the AeroPress. What we're gonna do today is cut out a small channel so that it will now fit. That's problem one, solved. We have something that we can push down because you have to push down pretty hard to make an AeroPress coffee. Next, we needed something to concentrate the output from the AeroPress. Funnels, purchase these on Amazon just as I did this pipe. We got three silicon funnels. Figured I'd cut them if they didn't fit right. This one was too small. We can't use that. This one, too large. Be able to use it if we cut it. However, just like old locks and three bears, this one was just right. We'll see if it works. I've already tested this with another cup that would fit inside of here without breaking it. And the AeroPress did drip into that cup, although I was not brewing, I just used water. We'll see how well it does with coffee. That's our next project. First, we're gonna cut this, clean it, and come back and brew a cup. Stay tuned. We're gonna get to work here. I'm gonna zoom it in so that we can see what we're doing. Area there is where I've marked off the this is a plastic cutter here. We're gonna try this first. We would desire for time to get the Dremel out and see how well that works. We've uh, switched around. We're using the power tool and I gotta switch the angle so that you Push this down, put this on. Grip that holds the bit is different depending on the size. And then I'm just gonna use a, a file to go in here and smooth things out. Time for the moment of truth. First, we're gonna show you the setup. I'm gonna move the camera down, focus in. You're not gonna see my smiling face for the rest of this till the end. First, let's show that we're done making our stand. It's a six inch length, three inch schedule 40 pipe. Fits over both the cup and over this cup. Whoops, sorry about that. So it'll fit a standard size espresso cup. Let's put the cup in, let's not forget that. Then we have our Goldilocks funnel. I've preloaded the AeroPress. Here's our water markings. I'm going for a double shot today, so I'll bring the water up to here. The water just came off of boils. It should be plenty warm. First, I do this sort of like a Vietnamese drip. Although the AeroPress doesn't say that, you let it sit for 20 seconds so that the coffee can expand and then fill for the full two shot espresso. Hopefully this will work. Like I said, I've never been able to get a good espresso brew from the AeroPress. And everyone brews AeroPress differently. Next, we take our paddle, we go in there and we stir it up for about three seconds. One, two, three. Doesn't have to be exact. Now, we go and we put this on. Set timer for one minute. One minute. 
Starting now. And we wait one minute. Nice thing about the way that we have this designed is that it fits directly over the cup no matter where the cup is in there. I didn't show you that. I'll, I can spin it around, but it does. The funnel, because it's perfectly centered and with the diameter of the cup, you're basically there. There's all sorts of ways to do AeroPress. This is just one of them. Actually, this is a brand new one that I've pretty much come up with here. Let's put it more center camera so that you can see it better. We're waiting on Amazon. There we are, our one minute time for extraction. Like I said, everybody does it different. The actual uh, AeroPress instructions say to wait 20 seconds total, I think. And I'm just using the weight of my arm to extract. If you push too hard, the AeroPress becomes almost impossible to push down. AeroPress extraction is part art, part science. I think that's part of, uh, part of the reason why it is so attractive to people. I'll probably speed up this. I don't know, there we go. And then it has like a final release. We'll have to see if there's any crema in this at all. Now, there is our two-shot espresso right to the rim. And a little bit of crema, not much. I would call this a win. Watch your water content though, because this one is just to the rim. If I had any more water, it would have gone over. Mm. It may not be a full-on espresso, but it's very delicious. So I would call this a win. The marriage with the AeroPress and my espresso cup. Also, this is my first cup of coffee in the mornings. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell so that you can be notified because I put out a video 1.30 Pacific PM every Friday. But that doesn't mean I won't put out another one during the week. Check out this video. It's going to be a real good one. By the way, I forgot. If you have any questions about how to do this or anything else you want to see on the Bill Doobie Variety channel, let me know. <laughs> Love it. Now it's time for my morning coffee and then breakfast.